Hello, friends. Let's talk about another unconvincing Tottenham Hotspur victory. We had an interesting game against Kinjia. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. But yes, it was an interesting game. Uh, this is the best I could do with the formation. I really couldn't tell if Sun was up there by himself or if Delhi was playing off of him. I kind of thought it was a 4-4-2, not quite sure. Interesting that Dyer was not a part of the squad, one could only assume. We're resting him because uh, we're going to play him on Newcastle. So for all you people who are like, oh my god, he's finally realized Dyer isn't good, um, that's false. I think he, I think, here's my hot take. I think Jose, I think he thinks Dyer is first choice center back. Um, and yeah, this partnership of Toby and Sanchez, I think everyone thought was going to be the thing after Yan left, but I think it's going to be Dyer and Sanchez or Dyer and Skriniar. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, but anyways, let's talk about the game. Uh, the first goal, it was good. It was good to get that out of the way. Lamella with a right-footed finish. Let's go, lad. I mean, props to you. Nice job. Um, uh, again, that goal. Who did it involve in Dombele? I mean, just every, almost every goal? I, th I Okay, I think the only goal that he wasn't involved in was the Kane goal. But still, Ndombele, is, he's just ridiculous. Uh, leaves it for Sun, gives a good ball to Sun. Sun turns, spins, provides a really nice pass to Lamella, and then he takes it, shifts it to his right, and then shoots. And I was like, he can use his right? That's ridiculous. Anyways, good goal. That, that Lamella, he, he is a goal scorer, or can be when he wants to. So... Yeah, no, it's it's good. It's good to get the goal early. We got very complacent though after this. I don't know what's happened to Winks. He started off very well, and then as the game went on, his passing radar just was like, I don't know, polluted by whatever. I don't even know. He even like simple sideways passes were just off. I don't know what happened to him. I love Winks, and, you know, I always advocate for him, and even when people think he doesn't have bad games, most of the time I'm like, oh, I think he actually was a bit good, but this game, no. Um, Winks, he he did initially when, when we started the game. It was like, um, it, it was like he was doing the role he was supposed to be doing. He was getting the ball from defense, giving it to the forwards, uh, shifting out wide, doing some nice passing. But as the game went on, as I said, it just I, I don't know what happened. He just like went off. And we always know he's going to be a bit suspect defensively. Yeah, but I, I think it was a good game for him to get a run out in. And I think Jose knows he's not quite up to speed yet, but... I think he can be a lot better than he was today, Winks. That is not a good representation of who he is. Um, in Dombele, we just got to talk about this man. Okay, yes, he had some sloppy passes. But did you see his work rate today? I mean, Jose is going to be livid. He's going to be, not livid, he's going to be very, very happy. Um, just, he was running up and down the pitch. He was putting in tackles. He was really closing down his man. Okay, he did have to be yelled at by Jose, who was very vocal on the sidelines today, but he did it. He really did, and it was nice. Um, yeah, it was it was nice to see, and also he just brings us something in attack that no one else can do. Just, he's a ridiculous player. His passing, I don't know. I've never seen a man pass that lackadaisically and be so accurate <laughs> I, just, I don't even know what it is but like even in the last counter attack he um his passing is just so relaxed but it's so pinpoint I don't understand how he does it he just like scoops it at, I don't understand him as a player but it's lovely to watch it is he's just such a mesmerizing guy um 
And yeah, also his crossing is weird. He just kind of ho- hooks it perfectly. And it, uh, he had a cross to Lucas that Lucas messed up. But that's okay. I mean, and Don Blake, just what a player. He's amazing. Bergvine didn't have the best of games, I'll be honest. Uh, Serge put in some really nice crossing just as a whole. Um, Joe Hart also had some nice crossing. <laughs> Good job, Joe, or whatever um, Jose was saying to him from the sidelines. Uh, Toby also had some good passing in the first half. Uh, there was a header he lost, and I was like, Dyer would have won that header. But anyways, <laughs> get the Dyer bias, Dyer bias off uh, of me. Um, Sanchez, wow. He is so fast. I didn't recognize how fast he was, but there were a few times where there was a loose ball running out for a corner, and he just, like, hauled it at full speed, and it was just ridiculous. He is rapid. He might be the fastest person in a straight line on our team besides Sun. I don't know. That's an interesting stat. I want to see that. Um, Davies was okay. I thought he was actually okay going forward. Some nice passing. It's just his athleticism, Davis. Uh, He just can't get up and down the pitch like you need a modern fullback to do. Um, Yeah. On Surge, though, I saw someone in the match thread being like, "Uh, I actually rate... um, I actually rate Surge more than Doherty. He didn't have to defend today is why... You did, uh, like, Sturridge is okay going forward, but I, I'm i just not, I'm not comfortable with him defensively. He did have a few loose passes today, as did Sanchez. Yeah. Um, another thing on the defense, there were a few times where we got caught out. Um, and Toby, you can just see his lack of pace a little bit. It's, it is um, rough to watch, and I love Toby, but what can you do? Um, Son had another good game, continuing on his goal-scoring run. Very weird player, though, because he just kind of drifts in and out of games, and sometimes I'm like, he's not having a good game today. Let's haul him off or whatever. But no, (laughs) he scored and uh, was involved in the second goal. So a lovely cross for the second goal, uh, for the Kane goal, sorry. Um, just, he is, he, he is always able to be a threat on the pitch. I think that's just it. Like, even if he isn't having the best of games, like, defensively and build up play and whatever, in the final third, he is always a threat. He is just, I mean, I I love that man. He, he might score more than Kane this year, who knows? Um, but yeah, I, he just gets better and better. I I love him. And when he has the freedom that Mourinho is allowing him, he's great. Delhi, all eyes were on him today. I, I think he put in a good shift, you know. Um, he he pressed. He did have to be yelled at like Tongi to press, but he did press. Um, and he's never been a lazy presser. I don't know where that's come in. Um, but yeah, no, good player, Delhi. And um, I guess you could see he was kind of lacking in match fitness today. Um, And he could have been better in the final third, but still, I I think he has a use in the squad and he is another goal scorer. I don't know. I don't know what happens with Delhi. If, okay, here's what I'll say. And I, I know, I know a lot of people have been saying this, but like Delhi for Skriniar. I'm okay. Uh, I, I'm okay with losing Delhi if we get Skriniar. I think even this game has just made it clear we need another center back. I just, I'm not happy with where it is right now. I wish we would trust Foyth. I wish I wish we would trust Tanganga, but it's just not the time. And Jose isn't. He wants a bona fide defensive powerhouse. So, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I can't, I don't know. It looks like we aren't going to sell Delhi, so I, I don't know what our plan is to get Skriniar. Anyways, we move on. They scored an amazing goal. Um, just 
uh, unstoppable, really. Maybe you could argue Davies should close him down, but no, he, uh, I mean, it's a good goal. B- uh, props to Nafiu. Um, and then what else happened? Lacelso came in and changed the game, as he always does. Um, we finally saw a really nice uh, Tongi and Lacelso link up. And Domble gives it to Lacelso. Feeds it in perfectly to uh, Lucas. Lucas takes a shot, and then it goes to Sun for the goal. I mean, they are just... It's its just interesting how they were both involved for a goal. I mean, they are just magnificent players. And Lo Celso is so important. He just drives the ball up the pitch, and his passing is great, and he can dribble and win fouls, and he's just so forward-thinking. I love him. Kane um, should have scored one of the chances he had earlier, but he's always a threat, as with Son, and he does convert the second chance he gets, and it's a lovely cross by Son. Uh, Davies was a tad bit involved, but I'm not going to give him too much credit for that. Um, And then Lucas came on, and he's just a little... um, I don't even know how to describe him. He's just an energetic ball of energy just running up and down the pitch. I didn't think Bergvine had the best of games, so probably the good choice there. Yeah, but overall, that's just... We're we're through the next round. That's all that matters. So let's just calm down about it, right? I mean, it'll just hopefully build some match fitness from people. I think this was a good game to get uh, into some people's legs. And uh, yeah, I think it was a good game overall. I'm interested to see how we line up versus Newcastle with this many tired people. And Dom Blave played the full 90, so does he even play on Sunday? I don't know. Anyways, I think that will do it for this video. I will be doing a video on Skriniar if that is a thing that happens, which I'm really excited about. I Quick thoughts. Um, I think he is a very good one-on-one, which is something we need and something that would help us in those goals where we concede on transitions. He's not very good in the air, but, you know, Dyer is good in the air, so uh, trade-off. Anyways, uh, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Come on, you Spurs.